In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fantastic text effect in Photopea. So firstly, we'll start with this water drop background. Uh, I'd like it to be a different colour, so I'm going to use hue saturation to change it. I'll go with that, that looks good. Now click on the type icon in the toolbar or press T on the keyboard to add some text. I'll change the colour to white, but I like the font that it's already set to, so I'm going to keep that, which is called Ultra. I'll increase the size, otherwise it'll be tiny on this canvas. Now add whatever text you like, in whatever font you like. Complete creative freedom at this point. I'm just going to scale it nice and large so we can see the effects more clearly. Double click next to the text layer to bring up the layer style window. I'll use a little drop shadow just to add a bit of interest, but this is an optional step. The bevel and emboss section is where the real magic happens here, so go on over to that section. Change the style to outer bevel. And the technique to chisel soft. Now for this image, I'll start with a depth of around 300 and then I found that dragging the size and soften sliders so they line up roughly with the depth slider is a good starting point. But it is definitely not an exact science. Change the contour curve to one of the spiky looking examples in the middle row. The bevel now looks way more interesting and has some nice highlights on it. But the shadows are a bit heavy, so I'm just going to knock them back with this uh, opacity slider at the bottom. Now click on the contour option. Now it's starting to look a bit more how I like. It's completely changed the appearance of it. Now experiment with the contour shape and range to get variations on this look. As you can see, there are tons of possibilities with this and experimentation really is key. Now go back to the previous screen and tweak the main settings to your heart's content, depth, size and soften. All these can now improve the look further and change it completely. But when you're happy with the result, just click OK. Right, now we have a great blister pack effect, let's bring the raindrops on top of it. Make a duplicate of the droplet background and move it to the top of the layer stack. It doesn't matter about the colour at this point. Also, I forgot to mention the text needs to be in a group for this to work. Now, hold the Alt key and click on the duplicated droplet layer. It should now be clipped to the folder containing the text. Next, we need to desaturate this layer. Do this by pressing Command or Control and U, and then drag the saturation slider to zero. Change the layer blending mode to hard light. As you can see, this has put the drops on top, but it's also changed the color, which we don't want. It's made it go a bit of a gray color. To combat this, go to the filter menu, go to other and choose high pass. Now change the radius slider until you can see the drop detail clearly. Sometimes linear light blend mode works a little bit better, but in this case it looks the same, so I'll keep it as is. If you wanted a stronger effect, simply duplicate the droplet layer and alt click it to make sure it's clipped to the folder as per the first version. This means that it will only strengthen the effect and the droplets on top of the text and not the background. Adjust the opacity to taste. The best part of this whole technique is it's still live text so you can change it to whatever you want. I'll show you. We can highlight this and just retype something completely different. So photo P for example. And as you can see it still retains all of the 3D plastic effects and the raindrops on top. Now if you wanted a slightly cleaner look of course you can turn off the water droplets on top of the text 
and just reveal the clean white text underneath. It's completely up to you.